Hello guys, this is me Dr. Kashan Kasset today here. We were discussing about the ECGs in previous lecture. We have discussed the cardiac axis, left axis deviation, right axis deviation. Today we are going to discuss another topic which is very important and the topic is heart attack. So there are several questions regarding this topic which is heart attack. I have written here some of the questions which are uh, number one which is heart attack, causes for heart attack, what are the tests for this uh, investigations or tests for this uh, specific condition of heart attack. So today we will be discussing this topic with question answers. So basically the first question here is what is heart attack? So basically the heart is pumping organ and the basic function of the heart is to pump blood to the body and deliver the oxygenated blood to the tissues and cells so that these cells functions properly. So basic function of the heart is to pump blood to the body. But in return, the heart is a muscular organ and its musculature is also pumping blood to the body and it needs oxygen which in turn is supplied by three vessels which we call the coronary arteries. There are three major vessels which are supplying blood to the oxygenated blood to the heart and these are called coronary arteries. So when these coronary arteries are blocked either via triglycerides are the reasons or cholesterol are the reason or fat there are many other reasons but these are the major reasons for the blockage so whenever there is a blockage to the vessel which is supplying blood to the musculature of the heart when there is a blockage either it is a 50 percent blockage or 60 percent most of the symptoms occur after 50 percent blockage so whenever there is a blockage to the vessels like these are the vessels so this is basically the blood vessel so if there is a blockage here so here is a blockage when this blockage occurs this will cause pain which we call the angina so when angina occurs it means there is a blockage to the vessel which are supplying blood to the heart so this is a heart so the blockage to the vessel means there is something wrong here to the vessel so if there is a blockage in any vessel so the heart is supplied by three main coronary arteries suppose this is a heart heart is contracting and it is supplied by vessel so whenever there is a vessel which is blocked so the portion of the heart which is supplied by this vessel is not getting oxygenation so now the part of the heart become dead so this is called the heart attack so it all depends upon either the vessel is minor or major major vessels causes the major heart attack minor causes the minor heart attack so the second question which will come into your mind is can anyone have a heart attack so the answer to this question is very simple and it is yes yes you may have a heart attack but it all depends upon the type of diet and the other uh, daily life activities it is all depending upon different factors so the answer is yes you may have a heart attack but the heart attack look heart attack usually do not occur suddenly it will take several years to develop it will take about eight to ten years to develop that clot which is causing the blockage to the vessel so the clot which is causing this heart attack may take several years eight to ten years to develop so it is a long journey so another question which will be in your mind is uh, why people usually die suddenly on the spot uh, with this heart attack so basically this is not a sudden process it is taking several years to develop that clot and when that clot become uh, 80 percent or 90 percent or there is a blockage of 100 percent to the vessel this will cause the heart attack so the heart attack is not sudden it is a time taking process next question here is can we check if there is any blockage to our vessel or our artery so the answer is yes there is a test we call the CT NGO which is giving the clear picture of your heart and it will take hardly five to seven minutes to get yourself checked by this test which is CT NGO so the requirement is not so so much for this CT NGO it is a simple test and we, in this age of technology this test CT NGO will not only tell you the blockage but it will also tell you the location exact location of that blockage so go and get yourself checked by this test which is CT NGO the next question which will be in your mind is is there any side effect of this CT NGO so there is no such a harsh side effects of this CT NGO test but definitely you will be exposed to uh, x-rays number one the second thing is the requirement of RFT which will be giving the creatinine level of your body if the creatinine levels are normal this means your kidneys are properly functioning so you can get yourself checked by this test which is CT NGO 
Actually, in this test, we inject the dye into your body, so these dye can affect your kidney function, so the creatinine level is must in this case. The next question here is why people do not go for this test if it is so simple. So the answer to this question is very simple that there is no awareness of such a test like CT and Geo. People usually do not have awareness about this test. The next question is which is in this age of uh, modern age of technology can ECG be checked by smart watches like Apple watches or other smart watches. The answer to this question is ECG cannot be checked by these watches like Apple watches or other watches. ECG cannot be checked by these smart watches like Apple watches. These watches are not giving you the changes in the ECG. Actually, these smart watches are telling you the heart rate and the rhythm. In the ECG, you will be looking at the changes and also on the rhythm that is, is it regular or irregular. So these are the changes which will be seen on the ECG. Get yourself checked by uh, some specialist. So do not rely on these smart watch ECGs. Go get yourself checked by some physician or cardiologist. They will get your ECG and they will tell you about the ECG changes. So these were all the questions we have covered today regarding this topic of heart attack. If you have any question any query you can ask me in the comment section so this was all about today we have discussed the questions regarding this heart attack in the next video we will be discussing some other questions regarding this topic of heart attack so this was all about today hope you like my video thank you very much for watching i'll see you in my next video